The book summary for today is Who says you can't? You do. By Daniel Shidyak. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started with the introduction. Why do we act the way we do? What is the reason behind our values? Why are people different? Why do others have the capacity to be productive all day while others can't even last for one hour? Why do some people seem so motivated? How do you become a better person? What strategies should you apply in life to succeed? How can you create the life that you want? Daniel Shidiak vowed to find the answer to these questions when he started his career. Just like any other aspiring entrepreneur, he started with nothing. Daniel experienced living on the other side of the road. No job, no motivation, no driving force, worthless, messed up. He wanted to know his purpose. He wanted to make an impact to the world. But he didn't know how. Now, if you're in the same situation as Daniel, grab a seat, sit back and relax. This book will show you how Daniel Shidiak transformed his life from a nobody to somebody. This book will teach you that your experiences will make a large contribution to your success. It will allow you to live your own life and not some other people's dreams. It will help you find true happiness. In the following chapters, you will learn the steps that Daniel Shidiak made to change his life. So, let's start with the very first chapter, Self-Discovery. So guys, how many times do you watch TV every day? Looking at those ads, those recipes, dramas and movies. Witnessing all forms of professions and advertisements brings us entertainment, right? Now, how many times have you watched someone cook a meal, drive a car or fix the tires? Maybe more than once, five times already or maybe even ten. You see? No matter how long or how often you watch somebody doing something, you will never learn it unless you try it yourself. Thus, in our first step to self-discovery, it won't be enough just to read this text and forget what you learnt. Self-discovery starts with a simple task. It is by asking questions. Making time for this simple little task a day will significantly impact your life in the future. By asking questions and taking action, you make yourself push through your limitations and boundaries. Now, let's dive into the first question. Who am I? Start with a question that explores your identity and growth. As you reflect into this question, you shouldn't cloud your mind with any other thought. Deeply reflect on yourself and just ask these questions. Am I kind? Am I brave? Am I helpful? Am I courageous? Am I considerate? List all the positive adjectives you can think of and run through the list repeatedly. As you continually read the questions, your mind will naturally travel back to the moments and memories in your life. It may be an experience where you've been kind, considerate, or maybe a memory where you've been rude or scared. If you mostly remember bad memories, that's okay. This happens because your brain always looks at your experiences and your identity in the worst possible way. Your brain does this because you always did this to yourself. You punish yourself for your mistakes and you feed yourself with negative words. However, this book is here to remind you that you are not all your mistakes. Deep down inside of you, you know that you are not that kind of person. Hence, read all through the questions and think again. Try to think of how many times you have been a good person instead of a bad one. Think about the moments you have been kind, helpful and loving and focus on the emotions it gave you. If you always remind yourself of these memories, you will feel better and have more fulfillment. However, if you feel like you haven't been that person yet, ask yourself 
how you can change. The goal here is not just to discover who you are as a person. This book also aims to give you the courage to become the person you truly are. The person without titles, without expectations, without responsibilities. There's a big difference between I and me. Me refers to our external identity like being a son, a daughter, a teacher, a mother, a friend or a lover. It is one part of our identity that we show to other people, a part we believe is true. On the other hand, I refer to the identity you have when you are all alone. When are you without your achievements, expectations and responsibilities? Who are you? I refer to your internal identity. It does not depend on status, environment or people. Knowing your why is essential to discover who you are. Not just who people wanted you to be. Now come on, go back to the list of am I questions we had earlier and change the words am I to I am. I am helpful. I am kind. I'm honest. I'm courageous. Remind yourself of the qualities that made you unique as a person. Forget what the world told you about who you are and follow what your heart tells you. Focus on how having a different mindset changes everything. Break all the negative words you feed yourself and start being kinder to yourself. Changing the way you look at yourself will transform your life dramatically. This chapter is all about discovering what lies you've been telling yourself and realize the truth within you. People don't know everything about you and it's time to prove them wrong. You can be nice, you can be generous and you can be successful. You can because that is you. Let's move on to the next chapter. Energy is our fundamental force. Now we'll start this chapter with a story about two people, Neo and Posse. Neo is the type of person who loves complaining. He complains about dirty sidewalks, small apartments and arrogant employees. Despite sleeping for 8 to 10 hours a day, Neo easily gets tired, which worsens his mood and performance. On the other hand, Posse is a very positive person. She loves living in the moment and she always looks at the brighter side. She feeds herself with information that makes her feel better. Posse always loves to help other people with motivating words. Even though she only sleeps for 4 to 6 hours a day, she is always filled with energy. Unlike Neo, Posse always performs her best. We need energy in our daily lives. Energy makes us get up in the bed, cook breakfast and drive to work. Without energy, it will be hard to stay awake during an important business meeting or to have the motivation to work. Most people think that to have more energy, one should be sleeping and resting more. Although sleeping is helpful, it is not enough to sustain energy for a person throughout the day. The truth is, our energy is not just about our physical, but also about our mental state. Even if your body is rested for a whole day, you would never feel energized until your mind is filled with energy. Now you may be wondering, what can make you feel energized if it's not sleeping? The answer is simple. You just need to have more uplifting energy. Okay, imagine this. You're always asked by your friends, colleagues or cousins to go to party on the weekends. One is for Friday evening, another for Saturday evening and the last is for Sunday evening. You can't say no to any one of them. So you decide to come to all the three parties. To your surprise, even if you only had four hours of sleep on Friday evening, you were still fully energized to party on Saturday evening. The reason why you're still fully energized is that you have big uplifting energy inside of you. This uplifting energy creates more good energy that helps you get through all those three parties without getting tired. 
the main point of this chapter is to make you realize that your environment shouldn't shape your performance you should be the own master of your emotions we are fed with a lot of negative energy every day from social media news and even from the people around us if we allow ourselves to consume all this negativity we are most likely to feel negative then what does negativity feel like it leads to tiredness fatigue and exhaustion the truth is we don't gain anything by complaining or hearing negative words it's okay to be aware of the latest news and updates but not to the extent of letting ourselves fear and worry about things we don't even have control of our energy is very important and negativity drains our energy hence we should be aware of what and where we should spend our energy on it's time to stop the world from manipulating us stop being reactive on everything that happens and start being proactive we need to focus on who we are and maintain the uplifting energy throughout the day stop complaining and start appreciating everything we see around us stop focusing on what we don't have and start seeing what we have the next chapter we have is be in charge success is not for everyone and it's also not mere luck or miracle that makes people rich you don't just wake up one day and see yourself inside a big mansion with billions of dollars in your bank account no matter how people define success it is all rooted in hard work and perseverance every millionaire you know that stayed on top for years didn't make lots of money overnight they all worked hard not just sit back and wait for the money to come every success starts with a vision however without taking action a vision is just a distant dream the grand opening of disney world took place in orlando florida on october 1 1971 it was named after its founder walt disney who died 4 years before the launch one of the guests told this to walt disney's wife lillian i wonder how walt would have felt if he was here to witness this to which lillian replied this wouldn't have happened if walt didn't see this years ago lillian was referring to walt's vision to start the disney world when walt was traveling from manhattan to hollywood by a train a picture of mickey mouse suddenly popped into his mind during this time Walt and his brother Roy were close to being bankrupt. At the lowest point in their business, Walt was still able to come up with the idea of Disney World. To succeed in any journey, one must have a vision and believe that he can achieve that dream. Many people avoid the visions they see. They were eaten by their worries and insecurities. that stop them from showing their idea to the world the future is indeed uncertain however that should not stop us from achieving our goals in life uncertainties and fear should be embraced wholeheartedly it is part of everyone's journey however you should never give up on reaching your dreams just because of those problems just like walt disney used to say If you can envision it then you can do it be in charge of your own life have a clear vision of what you want to have lay out your plans and take the actions necessary to achieve them it's okay to make mistakes but it's not okay to give up once you give up on your dream it will not just be your loss it will also be the loss of all the people who are going to benefit from your dream and with this let's move on to the next chapter awaken your mind and train your heart humanity appreciates and values physical appearance this is what matters for most people it's the first thing people see and this is the standard for being nice or nasty to a person 
society places good looking people on a pedestal gorgeous people receive a special kind of attention affirmation and recognition some people would even base someone's whole identity on their appearance however there is so much more to humans than meets the eye and that is our soul people often regard our bodies as machines through chemical reactions our brain makes responses through breathing and heartbeat this is what makes us alive through biology our physical appearance can be explained even the technicalities of our body however take a moment and think about this question if your body is the machine then who controls it we all know that machines don't just work on their own there must be someone who turns it on and off fix it when it's broken and upgrade it it's our soul the spirit that is inside us take a look around the place where you are right now who do you think is observing the place through your eyes who moves your hands who makes your mouth speak a machine is only made to function according to patterns but who made those patterns this chapter aims to help you understand that the spirit within us is more powerful than our physical appearance our spirit defines our true identity and our purpose aside from that your soul is not meant to stay hidden behind your physical appearance forever there is much more power and purpose that lies in your soul it has great wisdom and that's a significant force inside all of us most of us feel that force but don't do anything about it because of fear our environment our society made us believe that we can't they make us think that we can never satisfy people's expectations and that we will always be different however there is nothing wrong with being different and there's nothing wrong with being yourself a great spirit is inside each one of us we all have a unique purpose and calling in life thus no barriers or chains can ever stop us from achieving it when we are bound to become a somebody take for example nelson mandela the former president of south africa He is an excellent example of a person whose sense of purpose and identity is more significant than any challenges he faced. Mandela fought for peace and equal rights for his people. Even though he was imprisoned for 27 years because of this, it didn't stop him from pursuing his goals. Thus, 3 years after being in jail, he was elected as the president of South Africa. After all the struggles, he was able to reach a point where he can help his people mandela believed that life is all about not settling for less if you know what you're capable of don't give up or compromise you need to fight nelson mandela's story is a reminder that you can do whatever you want to do in life awaken your sleeping vision and goals and start planning your way to success get rid of the chains that keep you from growing go out of your comfort zone and pursue life to the fullest the next chapter we are reading on here is true happiness imagine yourself buying the lamborghini you've been dreaming of all your life you've got a lovely house a reasonable sum of money in the bank and your business is running smoothly despite all the good things in your life happening right now you find yourself unhappy and unable to find motivation there's a prevalent myth about happiness people think that they can find it but the truth is they cannot true happiness cannot be found because it is found within this is why no matter how much money you earn and how many cars you bought you will never be truly happy unless you find that happiness within you from the very beginning this chapter aims to show you that you can create any emotions you want any time you want you can be happy right where you are you can also be sad 
everything is dependent on your choice the author wants to say that happiness is about knowing that you won't be happy all the time and that's okay society has made us believe that life only has two emotions happy and unhappy like when you sit on the couch for 5 minutes straight people will start asking you if you are sad think about the time when you were so focused on what you were doing are you not happy right at that moment life is not all black and white there are also gray areas in between our life is not meant to be wasted on finding happiness in material things our life is a pursuit of self development a life full of imperfections yet filled with contentment stop seeking affirmation and recognition from others stop following what society tells you start believing in yourself and find comfort in being honest with yourself with all the scars and struggles you can still be happy true happiness is not found in a life without struggles and problems true happiness is found by someone brave enough to overcome all these challenges and here we are on the conclusion part of this book summary in a world where people keep telling you that you can't this book aims to show you that you can the universe is cheering for you to start the business write that book or start the vlog you can because you are meant and destined to do all these great things and this book showed you exactly how and why you can because you have learned to use your energy wisely you now know what to avoid and what to implement you learned to appreciate instead of complaining you can because you work hard you know that success won't happen overnight and you will work your way to the top you can because you are brave enough to face your fears and overcome them you can because you have a purpose a purpose no one can ever accomplish but you so stop doubting yourself and start taking action life is all about taking risks stop living your life in the background you can because you have learned that life is not a pursuit of happiness but self development you can be happy right where you are you can fail and still be okay nobody can tell you what you can and cannot do because you know yourself more than anybody else you are the captain and leader of your own ship the artist of your own canvas life is what you make it and you have the choice to build it or destroy it honesty society and the environment don't have any power over us it was us who gave them that power now it's time to take that power back stop living someone else's dream and start living your own you are unique you're beautiful you're brave who says you can't you do you can